live in this house? Well, this was the holiday home of uh, Patrick Pierce. You could say he was the founder of our state. He is our, uh, he was our uh, George Washington, our Fidel Castro. Uh, he uh, led the rising in Dublin in 1916 against the British. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the years leading up to that, uh, he spent quite a lot of time here in this house, writing mm -hmm. and planning the revolution. The revolution was about getting the British out of Ireland. We have never accepted British rule in this country. And over the centuries, we have organized uh, uprisings to try to oust them. And uh, this one happened in 1916 in Dublin. And eventually, uh, the IRA organized guerrilla warfare all around the country. And of course, in 1916, when the rising happened, my granduncle was one of the people involved. He was captured and uh, sentenced to 15 years penal servitude in England. Uh, but uh, they were released uh, after a year, as a matter of fact, and uh, he went on to take part in the IRA uh, guerrilla warfare in this area. That's where the revolution was designed, huh? Well, yes, uh, quite a bit of the revolution was planned here. Porrick Pierce, uh, during his uh, summer holidays here, brought the other leaders down from Dublin, and quite a bit of, uh, of the planning was done here, yes. The revolution uprising was in 1916. A lot of people were killed and in prison. When actually the IRA, the new strategy, was started to be used? The prisoners uh, adopted a new strategy uh, under the leadership of Michael Collins. When they were released, they, they, they perfected the organization and uh, the first uh, ambush happened in 1919. So in 1920 and 1921, uh, we had ferocious guerrilla warfare uh, all around the country. Uh, and then the British left. They left the 26 counties. Is there a part of IRA that does not agree with the peaceful um, integration of the Northern Ireland? Yes, there is. Uh, there's a group called, they call themselves the, the Real IRA. So what I understand is a very difficult subject or a, it would be difficult to bring everybody to accept one Ireland. What do you think is going to happen or how this will happen? Well, the, the British have, have stated they have no uh, strategic interest in, in Northern Ireland. So that suggests they, they want to leave. Mm -hmm. But of course, you have uh, the, a million people there who, uh, who are loyal to Britain, and they will become the mi minority then. And uh, they have to be treated with great respect and understanding. And uh, it's a question of reconciliation. That cannot happen immediately. But the institutions are being created at the moment uh, uh, because of the IRA ceasefire. Uh, there is space there to create uh, institutions to accommodate both traditions. Let's hope this is the last phase of the revolution, the last step for Ireland to become one. Yes, we've been at it for 800 years, so uh, hopefully, hopefully this will be the last chapter.